Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the FAIR Act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Um, them feds have been working for that paycheck this year, y'all. I ain't lying. The feds is really busy this year. I mean, the regular police is just taking a break this year because the feds is handling all of these cases. This is ridiculous, y'all. Well, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all that, um, Justin Beaver, the feds was forcing him to testify. He has agreed to testify against P. Diddy, y'all. Shitaka is about to hit the fan. Okay? And they're saying that um it's about to be explosive, y'all. Because this guy holds the key to a whole bunch of people in the industry. And now it's making sense to why Usher deleted hit all his Diddy tweets and all of this stuff. He deleted all his social media stuff with anything to do with P. Diddy and stuff. It is because he's on the chopping block too, y'all. Word on the street. He brought Justin Bieber to Diddy, y'all. He brought him to him. So he's on the chopping block too because allegedly, 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 he's not the only person that he brought to Diddy, y'all. And I told y'all this was going to be a major part. This was going to be a major part. The fact that Usher did that interview and said, and they asked him, would you bring your kids around, did he? And no, 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 no. He said H to the E, L, L, no. This is what he said, y'all. But you brought somebody else's child to Diddy. So he's on the chopping block right now. And I wouldn't be surprised if those fans that haven't reached out to Usher. Y'all remember Usher had left out of town to go down there with the Simmons guy. Um, Angela Simmons' uncle, whatever his name is, um, Russell. Y'all remember? Is they trying to get their story straight? What they gonna say? This and that and that and this. And he had to go and talk to somebody else that's on the run. <laughs> Y'all, Lord have mercy. It's about to go down in this industry. It's gonna be so many people that's going to come forward. And I hope and I pray that Justin is being careful that when he goes out, he has security with him. Because Diddy ain't just on the chopping block with Usher talking, y'all. We talking about big time people um, in the industry. Not just rappers and stuff like that. We have people that had talk shows. Okay, y'all? We have people that um, were, you know, football players, basketball players, all kind of stuff. That Diddy was allegedly, allegedly, allegedly passing him around to. Word on the street. So, this is not just going to affect Diddy. And please, please, God, protect this child because he's in danger. My personal opinion. And I'm sure y'all believe the same thing. He's in danger. Diddy is locked up. He's not ju just going to talk about Diddy, from my understanding. And word on the street is, like I told y'all the other day, those tapes that they got from Diddy's house, word on the street has... Justin Bieber on those tapes. This is why the fans are so interested in Justin Bieber talking. He's going to be the one that's really going to put the icing on the cake right now. And it's going to be a lot more hauled in because they knew his age at that time. They knew. They knew he was under the influence because allegedly Diddy had him ready for everybody else. Okay, y'all? When they had these mingle tingle sessions with allegedly with him. So y'all, it is Shitaka is about to hit the fan in so many ways. Okay. And don't be surprised that Usher don't have to testify in order to save his tail right now. You know, he's newly married as well and got kids and this and that and this. He's newly married. And I don't think Usher wanna go to prison. Because Usher already knows allegedly how it feels to be taken advantage of. So Usher is going to participate too. He is going to do whatever the feds tell him to do as well. And he's going to have to testify as well. They just not going to make Justin Bieber testify. 
Usher got to testify too. And it doesn't matter if he is deleting his tweets and this and that and that and this. Everybody knows that you're attached to Diddy. All of the tapes is out there. How y'all used to wrestle over the cereal box and all of this stuff. And and y'all, did I did I not tell y'all that they're going to start go, it, going off on these mamas and daddies that let them go. Let their kids go off with these monsters. I, don't, I say this all the time. I don't see how Aaliyah mama got away with the things that she was doing. The uncle got away with the things that he was doing. Um, Aaliyah's uncle was no different than Usher. Was no different than what, what, what Usher did. Aaliyah's mother trusted the uncle. Thinking that the uncle was going to watch out for her daughter. The uncle passed Aaliyah to R. Kelly and went on about his business. He didn't care what was going on. Okay? He didn't care, y'all. And it's the same thing with Usher. Usher passed Justin Bieber to Puffy. And he didn't care what Usher, what, what um, Justin Bieber was about to go through. He didn't care, y'all. Word on the street. He didn't care about not only passing him to Puffy, but Puffy passing him around to other people, allegedly. Y'all, and it doesn't, no matter how humiliating that he think it's going to be for him to come forward and tell the, his story, he has to do it. He has to not only do it for the feds, but he got to do it for himself, y'all. He got to be the one to let this out. And this is the only way that he's going to move forward, y'all. Because when you've been taken advantage of at a young age, that's the only thing that helps. Is to let it out. And when he does, it is going to be explosive, y'all. I keep telling y'all. Now everybody else is reporting. They're reporting it now. They're saying that Justin Bieber is about to testify. On, you know, the Fed's behalf, they are going to testify. Against, he's going to testify against Diddy now. I told y'all. Did I tell you? This is going to be crazy, y'all. And you got to ask yourself this question. Is this why, um, cause uh, word on the street is, um, Kim Kardashian, she didn't, um, lawyered up and start sending out cease and desist letters for, I guess people not to mention her or whatever, 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 but they can't help but mention her because she was at the parties too. Not only was she at the parties, but they were saying that her sister took advantage of Justin Bieber too, when he was young. And that one of her kids might not even be Scott Disick's. Okay, y'all? It might be Justin Bieber's child. This is crazy, y'all. That all of these people looked at Justin Bieber as somebody that they wanted to mingle tingle with, even though they knew his age. Like, are y'all serious? Y'all, Shitika is finna hit the fan. And how many basketball players and how many football players and how many artists took advantage of Justin Bieber too that is about to be brought into this mess? I hope he's not trusting anybody in the industry right now because he could be very well be a, a sacrificial lamb right now, y'all. Just to get him to be quiet and not tell on Diddy and not bring out everything that everybody else did to him too. But the thing of it is, if they put hands on Justin Bieber, anything happens to him, they all are going to be, that's going to be a motive right there. Because the tapes is still out there no matter what. And they said the Fed has the tapes, y'all. The Fed has the tapes of Justin Bieber being, you know, done dirty. This is sad. But stay strong, Justin Bieber, because you can get through it. A lot of other people got through this type of stuff. It's You're not the only one. Other people have been used and abused the same way. The same way. And you can actually be strong for everybody. Instead of example. Hold your head up, baby boy. Because, you know, letting it out is the best thing for you right now. And not only is it the best thing for you, but it's the best thing for everybody else out here. Because this monster and these monsters, they need to be outed. So that there won't be other victims. So stay strong, Justin. Please. 
Don't think of doing nothing stupid. Because your baby needs you. Your wife needs you. And you got a lot of fans and probably family members that care a lot about you. No matter what you've been through in your life. So stay strong. Seriously. But yes, this is what they're saying. They're also saying now that um, him and Usher is not talking right now. I don't know if that's true or not. I heard that off of one page. That him and Usher is no longer friends. And I wonder is they not friends because of the fact that he's about to testify against him and Diddy. Because word on the street is he's about to out Usher too for passing him to, uh, to Diddy. Word on the street, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned. I, I, I tell y'all, you can't get around the Diddy news because it's more and more stuff coming out every day. And they're calling out the mama too. They are calling out Usher's mama. They ain't saying too much about Justin Bieber's mama because she was out here smoking her kneecaps off. She, or she wasn't even in her right mind. But Usher mama was. And when they asked her about why in the world did she let her child go stay with Diddy, she said she did her homework. She must have failed that test, y'all. She had to fail that test because I'm telling y'all, she got all F's on that homework she did. But this is what came out of her mouth. She did her homework before she let Usher go and stay with Diddy. So what kind of homework did you do? The homework that if I pass him to him, he's going to ball out of control. He's going to be able to be in whatever he wants to be in. If Diddy, you know, say so. Is that the homework that you was talking about? Because how did you do your homework? How? When this man has a history of doing the things that he is being accused of since the 1990s. How did you do your homework? Did Aaliyah's mama do her homework too on, on R. Kelly? Did she? Did she, y'all? Or did she just didn't even care as long as she got her foot in the door so she can get that money? See, all money ain't good money. And people are going to have to realize that. And just handing your children over to people just so they could be rich in the industry, you know, it comes with this, these type of things. But stay strong, Usher. Not Usher, Bieber. Stay strong. And Usher, ain't no way in the world you're going to get off of this unless you tell everything you know. So that goes to show you Usher is going to be forced to tell too. Because Usher is going to get some charges brought on him too. If y'all think for one minute that Usher didn't touch none of these people, think again. Think again, y'all. My personal opinion on that part. But think again. They were, he wasn't getting sued for nothing. He wasn't. He's not erasing, erasing all these text messages for nothing. He's not running out of town to Russell Simmons for nothing. Usher is scared right now. And I think that's a part of the reason, too, he get ran and got married and stuff. Because this stuff was a brewing. And he was a middleman in this whole situation. So stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.